Welcome, my friends, to where? A place for stories and learning for what? Joke of the day. Uh, and after the jokes, there will be three shout outs to three friends of mine. So we're going to start. We're, we're still doing school jokes because it's back to school time. Uh, the kids have gone back to school and the parents are peaceful again, I guess. I'm not because I'm back to school teaching. So. so when I was a kid, I came running home from school one day. Mom, mom, I got 100 in school today. And she said, great, what in? And I said, 40 in spelling and 60 in reading. That's not true. I did well in school. I was very good in school. That's why I'm a teacher. But yes, 60 and 40 is 100. <laughs> I got a friend. His name is Johnny Bubbles. And I've known Johnny Bubbles forever from elementary school on. And you know what I always scared Johnny Bubbles about school? He had this fear. It was this phobia. He just couldn't stand it. Johnny Bubbles was always afraid of school because of the pop quizzes. <laughs> Okay, what what kind of school do you go to if you're an ice cream man? Well, if you're an ice cream man, you go to Sunday school. <laughs> if you're a giant, well, obviously you go to high school. <laughs> if you're a surfer, what kind of school do you go to? Think about it. If you're a surfer, you go to boarding school. <laughs> and if you're King Arthur, that's an easy one. If you're King Arthur, you go to night school. Oh, that is so bad. And another time, another time when I was a kid... I came home and I said, Mom, guess what we did in school today? We had a guessing game. And my mom said, oh, I thought you were supposed to have a math test. And I said, exactly. <laughs> Thumbs up. Subscribe. And do you want some shout outs? I would like to do some shout outs. So um, the shout outs are coming to three great friends of mine. All right. Shout out time. My first shout out goes to Mike Terry. Mike Terry is a country singer. Love his voice. It's a deep voice. And he sings, it sounds so professional. You think of that. My dad used to listen to country music when I was a kid. And, and, and it sounds like those kind of singers there. Mike's fantastic singer. Uh, I love his songs. I love his performances. He's, he's great. And he's a supporter. He comes back and forth. My next uh, supporters, uh, my next shout out goes to Kelly and Jordan Squad. Uh, brother and sister and a dad. They do great videos. They do predictions for NASCAR, predictions for wrestling. I think they just went... To a big wrestling show i saw it on instagram i wish they were posting pictures they got on tv i think there's a shot of them there which is awesome uh callie reads on wednesday she reads books and they have they do slime they open gifts they win giveaways callie and jordan squad and their fellow canadians woohoo go canada so that's callie and callie and jordan squad and finally we've got carola in paris she's a, a lovely young woman she's a german expat living in paris and she's doing videos on her channel to talk about her struggles of living in Paris, being German, and she's got great videos. Uh, she's she's got some great production value. I, I like her a lot. Um, I really enjoy her videos. So, and I was a Canadian living in Poland for seven years, and when I moved to Poland, I didn't speak a word of Polish, and that was tough. That's a whole nother story. I've been start starting to tell those stories. There's a story on my on uh, I've got posted about a Canadian almost gets beat up, a Canadian in Poland. Yeah, it's an interesting time I had there, and uh, I'd like to tell you more about that. I should do some live streams about my experiences in Poland. I'm a little scared to do live streams, but I can do it. So, uh, the shout-outs go to Mike Terry, awesome singer, Callie and Jordan Squad, fun family, and Carola in Paris, a lovely woman who tells great uh, stories about living in Paris, being a German living in Paris. So if you like them, thumbs up and subscribe. Go to them, check them out, and guess what you can do? For me, you can come back tomorrow, of course, for more jokes and some more shout-outs on A Place for Stories and Learning.